Ooh, it feels good to be in some scruffy clothes right now because that only means one thing. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to do some work on my own cars. Yes, yes, this feels good to do. So fingers crossed this all goes to plan. I've got my six series, which I'm looking to do the front brake discs and pads on. Basically, I ordered these parts actually quite a while back, but with the wedding and everything going on, just haven't had time to get on with actually doing the change. So this is gonna be a good chance to not only just make the upgrade to the car, but also to review the brakes that I got, which was from Autodocs. So um, the box has just been sat there for quite a while. I need to bring out the discs, I need to bring out the pads. This car, in in terms of euro car parts and stuff the prices were astronomical they were literally so much i think i was looking at like seven eight hundred pounds for a set and i was just like oh that's that's more than i want to spend right now i still got the damage at the back that i need to look at repairing um waiting for the claim and stuff to go through with that but with the three series being sold it's time to get the car back on the road properly i've had a serious brake judder with the car so it's not cutting it anymore it's time to get the car driving like it should so i've skipped a little bit ahead i've got the car jacked up in the air i've got the car's front wheels off and i've actually done one of the best things to do with everything as it is at the moment and let me show you what that is so let me get the light on so with the brakes still intact and everything i've gone the allen key into here with the allen key um i've got the allen key socket and i've wd 40 this heated it up and then cracked it loose the reason why that's important to do is because when you disassemble the brakes and everything like that, if you can't get a good grip on the disc and you start shredding that, it becomes a pain. I don't know if you've all seen the big overhaul that I did on my sister's 5 Series, but I ended up having to drill that out. It was just so much work. It wasn't fun. So I thought before I tackle any other part in the car, I'm going to tackle those first because I wanted to know how long of a night I had ahead of me. Luckily, with a little bit of heat and the WD-40, um, wire brushing it down as well, been able to crack those loose. So now it's a matter of tackling the rest of the brake caliper and the brake disc. So it's actually fairly straightforward on these cars. Two bolts holding the brake caliper onto the, the brake caliper housing and, well the bracket I should call it. And then you've got the two bolts holding the brake caliper bracket onto the wheel hub. So I've wd 40 all of those. I'm just gonna show you all where they all are and then we can start cracking on with removing all of that and then changing the disc over. Now's also a good time to clean this up. I think, you know, since I got a good, wow, look at that. Just from rubbing it down, it just brought the red back straight away. That's good. But, so when we come back over through here, put that light there, we've got, I've not painted all of this by the way. I only painted up to here. Old video, but yeah, really good. Did it stress free. Don't have to worry about everything else going on. So just over here, we've got these two little grommets here, which you just need to take off. And that gives you access. Ugh. These little grommets, you need to take these off. You get access to two Allen key bolts in there. And then we've got the bolt here and the bolt up here. We just take those two off because then we'll be able to take off the whole housing for the brake disc and caliper. Literally, that's it. Once you get all those off, once you've taken those two off, you'll be able to take off the front brake pads. And then the other two will allow you to take this piece off. Because I've got this painted, I will take a little bit more extra care but it is one of those pretty straightforward tasks just tackle it as best as you can be safe be careful make sure you got the car on jack stands as well and you should be all good so uh, i'm gonna carry on with this let's go this is actually going quite well um i'm quite impressed with this Although the front disc, oh my God, is it so bad. Having the right tools genuinely makes such a big difference, as well as having the electrical ones. Some things are just worth investing in. Um, the, the DeWalt impact wrench, those two bolts holding on, the brake caliper housing, um, come on nice and smooth. Just got the brake caliper off, 
and the disc off as you can see that disc is completely battered and worn away what i'm gonna do right now is just get the new ones out um kind of do a little bit of side by side and then prepare this area give it a good deep clean with a wire brush clean this up as much as i can i'm gonna need to push in the brake caliper as well i need to undo the the cover to get access to the brake um brake fluid reservoir and then we'll be able to tackle the rest of this so yeah let's go um i'm actually happy with this so let's go get the new one ah i actually forgot which brand brake this i ordered um and looking at them now it is phoebe which i know some of you might be thinking oh that's not really a um a brand for brake discs but like i said for the budget that i wanted to spend on the brake discs i thought go for some standard fairly simple brake discs for the front and go for some upgraded brake pads so the pads that i've gone for are brember so so those two mixed together should be pretty good and pretty happy um again this is going to be a kind of a good review of the phoebe brake discs um, as well as the Brembo brake pads. I'm not sure what brand it was on there previously, but let me show you all the difference between the two. Can you look at that? Look at the great, look at the glazing that's got. It's got like indentations of the brake pads and stuff, and it is so warped. That looks so good. Time to get some brake cleaner on it, get it all cleaned up, get these, this section done up nice. Um, I thought I did have a brake pad wear sensor so I need to go and look for that if I didn't that's really annoying and I'm gonna need to change that um, and get that from somewhere but yeah let's go with cleaning up so everyone it's actually the next day right now um i thought i'd stop purely because it's getting late and i wanted to spend a little bit of time with my wife don't i what the i did come upstairs and sit with you for a while you fighted with me i didn't fight with you yesterday but yeah so um yeah ended up stopping yesterday but i managed to get this i actually asked my sister to go pick this up for me uh she went to euro car parts so this is the brake pad wear sensor the other one the old one did have a little bit of cut on it didn't really want to fit that one back on ideally but because of work as well i couldn't exactly rush out to go get it so that's a good thing about having family members that can drive off and pick things up for you while they're doing their errands but yeah time to pick up with where we left off with regards to the front brake disc so the brake disc is on up next now is basically put pushing in the brake pad well the pistons for the brake pads um, so I need to loosen up, get the brake fluid opened up so we can actually comfortably do all of that without having to stress about putting too much pressure on the system and stuff. And you know, with brake fluid, air, you just don't want to mess around with that. So everyone, this is the old brake pad and this is the new. Um, Size-wise, yeah, everything looks all right. But look at the thickness level difference. And also look at the way this one's kind of glazed over. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, doesn't really look healthy. Look at that, nice and chunky, good. The Brembo ones, but yeah, gonna be fitting these on now. Now I'm gonna look at pushing in the brake pistons. Um, I've been able to locate where the brake, brake fluid is kept, um, which is actually on the driver's side in this car. So on all the videos and stuff that I've seen online, it's normally on this side, which is technically the passenger side for us, but not, it's over there on the drivers and I'll show you all how to get to that so as i mentioned earlier this is where it's kept which involves removing this which involves removing all of this so to get access to this you have to remove this panel first which looks all good you just gotta basically lift this bit up and then slide it over that way remove this trim as well it just makes it a little bit easier um and then you got these 13 mil bolts. Well, they're not really bolts, they're like locking clips. And um, they're like little plastic locking clips. So don't go too crazy on that. It's literally very loose. Um, and you just undo those, undo that on the other side as well. I kind of removed everything on the side. I just thought, give everything a nice little clean whilst I'm here. And yeah, so I've just uh, undone this. That's if you are gonna, um, that's, on the other side you don't really need to do it but if you are going to it's there 
I just thought I'd loosen everything up because as I'm flexing it, nothing's gonna crack um, when I take this side off. And now it's time to push in the brake caliper with the pistons, um, which I've got the kit over there. So I'm just gonna look at doing that. Oh, you also have to use this T25s. Um, you've got two screws at the front of the little housing. So on here, after you've taken off the other one, you've got two screws, just well, one there and one for the other side as well. So let me show you all what I did um, with the brake caliper kit that I've got. It's got these two. Now you twist them opposite way to each other. You've got these little brackets that you put on through them. And then you just put these on now. You'll notice I've left the old brake pad in there. Now, the reason why I've done that is one, you reduce damaging any part of the brake system that you're gonna be reusing. All you're gonna really damage is the old brake pad, which you're more than likely never gonna use again. The other important thing here is the fact that you just, it's just already that much thicker in there. It makes your life a little bit easier to um, push the whole thing in. So now I'm just gonna undo these a little bit and then everything will become loose so i'm just going to undo this one and that's the brake caliper all sorted and i can put in the new brake discs and pads so as you can see i need two hands so you can all see that's the little marks that that's left on it there like i said earlier it's not going to get used again you can see the brake pistons are nice and happy there no scuffs on it at all and they're all pushed back in so i'm just going to get the new ones ready so there is a difference between the ones that go on the front against the one that goes on the back which is the rear ones have three prongs on them and the one that faces the outside so the front only has two so make sure you put the right ones in in the right place now i like to i'm just going to show it on the old one because don't have to worry about where i'm holding it then i like to put a little copper grease on any contact areas on the brake pads um, where it's going to touch the caliper because you just don't want any squill happen so it's going to get some copper grease and grease up the new ones i'm actually going to change my gloves so i don't get anything contaminating them and yeah so going to fit those on let's go Ladies and gentlemen, it is actually day three. I I quit yesterday. I genuinely, I quit. What happened was, um, everything looks good until you realize that this is the wrong shape on this brake disc. Whereas you can see on this one, it's a bit more straight um, and there's a bit more of a dent here. It doesn't curve out all the way to here. Whereas this one is kind of, a bit more of a curve so i've got some apex brakes um quickly got them from a to z so thank you a to z for hooking me up in fact they're really reasonably priced compared to some of the other prices i've got from like euro car parts and stuff this is cheap this came up to 130 pound so the win for that um so now i'm gonna actually just carry on throwing everything back together as i did yesterday um literally i figured it all out as i went to put the brake caliper back on it wouldn't go all the way in and i was proper baffled i was like huh this doesn't seem right so now i guess there is two different types of brake discs for this car um auto dark i don't think they're gonna refund me one because i took it out and two because it's been basically since november last year that i had them so it's been quite a while yeah now it's just about me throwing it all back off with the brake disc putting that one away and then putting the new one on. So fingers crossed it all goes well. Guys, I've just actually done something a bit different on this side because I was struggling to get the, the usual pins in. Whilst leaving the original brake pads, I've connected the C-clamp. So the little tab part on the brake pad and then that's gone round over there just like that kind of a thing squeeze them in and it looks like it's done a pretty good job of that i thought i'd show you all that so yeah 
Time to throw on the brake pads and everything and carry on. I think we're just gonna skip to the end now and uh, when the brake pad and disc is all done and dusted. Right everyone, it looks to be a good time right now. Um, yeah, we've... I've been able to get the front brakes done, dusted. They've all been switched over to the front new ones. Ah, oh, it feels so much better to get this all done now. The car is gonna feel so good. Let me show you all what the results are like so far. So I've given the brake calipers just a very, very rough clean. I want you to do a bit more of a clean, but because it's day three, I've got places to be tomorrow and later on today actually. So it's a matter of just get it done as quick as I can. But here we are. Here is the brake caliper. It's all fitted back on. I fitted on the new brake pad um, wear sensor. You gotta keep this little grommet, um, which kind of like hooks over on the old like one. So be careful with that. And then it's connected it all back up. It goes in this way and that's it. Everything is tightened up. Now it's time to straighten out the wheels, um, check the brake fluid level again and um, get the car ready to put back on the ground and we'll take it out for a quick test drive. Oh, by the way, look at the condition of the old ones. They are so battered. If you look at this, the, the level of curvature on this it's disgusting. I'm so, so bad for me to drive it with anything as bad as that. Hi. I've got a visitor as well. I am quite impressed with how the the new ones look, the Apex ones. They actually look quite good. I like the, the black finishing on them. So, when you see this one, it has a grey finish compared to this which has a black finish on it and even up here it's all black so it's not gonna it's not gonna stay looking like that forever but for now it looks good it looks really good so yeah now it's time to put the wheels back on get the car jacked and put back down to the ground that's it the car is back on the ground everybody this is good news um so happy to get the car back on the ground and now it's going to be a matter of just quickly taking the car out for a quick little drive. Oh my God, it already feels so much better. Yes. Yes, oh, wifey is watching me from inside the house. Woo. Oh my God, the car brakes like a normal car now. Yes. So just on the first little drive, it's getting a bit dark and so I can't take the car out for the full drive right now, but it does feel a hell of a lot better right now. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Up next is gonna be the braking in procedure for the brakes. So um, bedding them in, uh, which I'm gonna do later on tonight. Right now, I'm just gonna pop the car up and just gonna... What I like to do is actually just double check the um, the wheel torque again after a quick little drive just to make sure that it is still all at the right spec but yeah that's it everyone i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did please please consider subscribing to the channel because again that would be really helpful as well as giving the video a like and also please leave a comment if i could have done anything any differently but for now everyone i'll see you all in the next video peace out bye